June 1960. Across the country, John Kennedy and Richard Nixon campaigned to be the next president. Alfred Hitchcock was causing theater goers to jump out of their seats. And on radios and phonographs, Americans were listening to the much calmer refrains of Percy Faith and his orchestra. Against this backdrop, a slice of South Columbus, recently renamed German Village, was getting ready for a big coming out party, its first ever house and garden tour. And the stakes couldn't have been higher. For the past couple years, Frank Fetch and other urban pioneers had been telling Columbus that this was the next up and coming neighborhood, that with private investment and a little elbow grease, this rundown 19th century immigrant community could become a showplace. The purpose of the tour was to convince skeptics of the possibilities. Without the house and garden tours, the village wouldn't have flourished because people got an uh, invitation to see what was really going on down here and they couldn't believe it. It encouraged people, uh, especially young, young married couples, single people, that hey, you can come down here and very reasonably $5,000, $6,000, get a house, and with a little bit more money, make it extremely livable. And so the society, barely five months old and 200 members strong, got down to the business of opening their doors to a few thousand strangers. As I recall, the ticket to get through the house, all 10 houses was a dollar. And I remember I said, Frank, who in the world's going to pay a dollar to go through these houses? He said, you might be surprised, and I was surprised. The biggest chore? Coming up with 10 homeowners who would agree to open their doors. The Keenses offered their home at 820 South 5th Street. Frank and Elnora Fetch got involved, opening their tiny cottage at 41 West Columbus Street, the one that had originally been built as a corn crib. Bill Lunke, who since 1958 had owned a home with his partner David Early at 914 City Park Avenue, recalled getting a phone call from Shirley Keens. You know, we were kind of proud of what we had done, and by that time, the yard didn't look as bad as it did because we had about two years before we actually had the German Village Society, so we had started working on the outside slowly. Because of the anti-gay sentiments at the time, only David's name was listed on the ticket. But Bill, who worked at Nationwide Insurance at the time, received the publicity. How many people did you have that day? Well, supposedly it was around 3,000 people. And thus began a German village tradition that would repeat itself annually, eventually moving in 1964 to the last Sunday in June, where it has been ever since. The earlier tours had a strong old world feel to them with German singers and bands, dirndls and lederhosen on parade, and a heavy influence on German food and beer. But visitors were mostly interested in what lay behind the century old doors, what these urban pioneers had done to make these old homes truly livable in the latter half of the 20th century. They were not disappointed. The demand to see inside these homes was strong enough to allow ticket prices to rise from a dollar in 1960 to $10 by 1990. Today's price is $25. But the most significant change to the annual tour occurred with the addition of a pre-tour event on the Saturday evening preceding tour day. The first house and garden pre-tour dinner was held in 1985. And we started out with hors d'oeuvres and cocktails at Lindy's and then took limousines to the various houses. So we got a preview tour. And then we went back to Lindy's and had a lovely dinner. And then some years later, Betty Garrett came up with the idea of having the dinner parties at private homes. And it was a very much more personal touch with that. And it was far more uh, more money raised that way because we don't, did not have to pay the restaurant and the caterer and the limousines. In fact, the tour has become the primary money maker for the nonprofit German Village Society. Between 2009 and 2017 alone, profits grew from $103,000 to $140,000 a year. That has allowed the society to add programs, staff, and visible, measurable outcomes like our investment in sidewalk grants to help neighbors improve their walks. 
So not only does House and Garden Weekend show people what a great place this is to live, it turns them into donors in support of historic preservation, something that never goes out of style in German Village. Thank you.